So it carries twice its payload. That means it, it, if it weighs 100 kgs, it carries 200 kgs of payload. It's got uh, weaponizing capability. Small, it can take off from a runway, like something like a road. We are slowly replacing what we were buying. It's a six meter into two wing. So it's a tandem wing configuration. The aircraft performs better than a regular fixed wing aircraft because it's got two wings to lift larger payload. So it carries twice its payload. That means it, it, if it weighs 100 kgs, it carries 200 kgs of payload. So that's the kind of advantage from a tandem wing. Other than that, it's got uh, weaponizing capability. It has got uh, endurance and it has also got a special uh, onboard uh, AI function, which is looking at vision. From vision, it is able to understand the terrain and getting what we call situational awareness. So that's what it's got. And uh, other than that, it's got multiple choice of engines. So we can go with a piston engine, we can go with a turbine engine, we can go with a four-stroke engine. So turbine gives it speed, time to target, it can reach the target faster, and it can fly at higher altitudes, reason being it's got two links to lift, two wings give it the lift, extra lift in the thin air. So that's the advantage of this aircraft. So this aircraft um, is also, we can call it as a um, drone machine. Which would, uh... Yes, it is a tactical drone. It is not a full-size, large uh, predator kind of a drone, but it's a very tactical drone. So you can select what you want to do with it. It is small, it can take off from a runway, like something like a road. Mm -hmm. So you can take off from any highway that you select from. So it can be stationed in multiple places across the country and can take off from ordinary roads. So That's how it's designed. And uh, talking further about it, so hmm. we can see ISRO has been marked over there as Yes, well. sir. So can you just talk us about the collaboration? So, uh, ISRO and Indian Army, that's a, a joint innovations and indigenization cell, which uh, has actually contributed in terms of the electronics, hardware, and you know the support for the uh, uh, sensors that were required, which are not easily available to manufacture UCAV in India. We have a lot of restrictions to cover from. So looking at that, the access that we got from ISRO was uh, uh, you know fantastic for us to move forward in this project. Basically, when it is talked about, uh, there is always a aim yes. of, of the drone. What is the basic aim of the drone to that? Uh, uh, in comparison to? In comparison to the, what's the basic function? What was the target the ISRO and the Indian Army decided? So the target was that uh, we were unable to, at, today we are looking at Israelis to supply us a class of this aircraft. So we are the first company to replace that today. So we replace... Uh, the very founding stone of uh, being able to uh, build an aircraft of this size and uh, have it integrated with all the sensors and make meaningful missions. So that is that. That's what is standing there. We are slowly replacing what we were buying, and at a cost so low that it really helps them buy much more. So it also helps the industry, and you know it also gives uh, smaller companies to look up making these larger aircrafts today. So we've been always doing smaller aircrafts, considering the cost and all that. Now we are able to build little more bigger aircrafts. So it's basically a, uh, a very stronger push for the drones to make in India. Drones. Make in India, of course. So most of the aircraft, you can say 85% of the aircraft is completely built in India. The carbon fiber, of course, comes from abroad. But the entire work and the stack, that is the software which we are very smart at. So that's something very intelligence has been built into it.